But you know what? If you've had a knee replacement, you know what I'm talking about. And, and I was, I got to be honest with you, I was really proud of myself because it was very painful. It was one of the most painful things I've been through in my life. And I got through it. And I was really proud of myself. And I said, you know, you just got through something that's probably the worst pain of your life. Two days later, I got a kidney stone. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> oh, man, I would not wish this pain on the devil himself. 2.30 in the morning, I'm in an emergency room crying like a little girl, ripping holes in the sheets of the bed. Because if you've had one, you know what I'm talking about. It's like the most debilitating thing that you can go through. And I'm just like going, ah, ah. And this nurse goes, well, now you know what it's like to go through childbirth. <laughs> and I said through my tears, well, then, ma'am, y'all are stupid. <laughs> if this is what childbirth's like, there'd be no kids. And then they gave me a little shot of something called Dilaudid. <laughs> Why is this not in every candy section of every grocery store? My brother-in-law said, you went from crying like a little girl to all of a sudden going, so, what's your name? <laughs> so I go to see my urologist, and he goes, yeah, you got a kidney stone. I said, so what happens? I just pass it? And he goes, well, normally that's what would happen. He said, but Bill, you have a very small urethra. How do you even respond to that? I said, well, you know what, Doc? It's kind of cold in here. <laughs> He's like, sir, that has nothing at all to do. There's three things in life a man never wants to hear. You kiss like a dog, you throw like a girl, and you have a very small urethra. <laughs> so I said, well, so what's going to happen? He goes, well, we're going to do this little procedure where we're going to insert a tube <laughs> up through your wiener. <laughs> There's four things in life <laughs> a man never wants to hear. <laughs> And inserting a tube in your wiener is numero uno. <laughs> he said, what we'll do is we'll put that tube up there, then we'll take the laser and we'll stick it up there and we'll blast the stone. He said, you'll be sedated. And I said, yes, I will. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I want to be so sedated that I see that light and I want to walk into it, all right? <laughs> So they do the procedure, I, they bring me out of anesthesia, and I said, did you get the stone? And he goes, Bill, I have never had this happen in my medical career. And I'm like, oh, God. please don't tell me you lost your wedding ring up there. He said, no. He said, your urethra is so small, we couldn't even get the laser up there to blast the stone. He said, is this hereditary? I don't know. <laughs> Me and Pops never had that chat. <laughs> well, son, you're 21. It's time you learn about the Ingvall family curse. <laughs> oh, we've all had small urethras. In fact, your great-granddaddy Max Ingvall, he toured with Ripley's Believe It or Not. His was so small. <laughs> so I said, so what happens now? And he goes, well, we put a stent in there to spread your urethra. Leave it in there for two weeks. We'll go back in and get the, lay the stone. So for two weeks, I have this stent. <laughs> I go back in. They put me under. I come out, and they go, we got the stone. I said, thank God. And he said, you can pull the stent out in a couple days. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I'm sorry, what? He said, yeah, you can just pull the stent out. And I go, what am I paying you to do? That's like going to a restaurant and going, yeah, I'll have the steak and lobster. And they go, well, there's the kitchen. Go cook it. I said, dude, I'm a comedian. I don't know how to pull a stent out. He goes, you will. And he leaves the room. And I look under the sheet. <laughs> and without being too graphic, I have a thread hanging out of my wiener. I don't even 
even so. <laughs> and let, let me tell you something. When you have a thread hanging out of your dingling, it makes it pretty interesting to pee. Every time I'd pee, it was like the fountains at the Bellagio Hotel just <laughs> And Gail keeps going, Bill, you're getting pee all over there. I go, well, I got a thread <laughs> hanging out of my dingling. <laughs> Excuse me if the aim is a little off. <laughs> so a couple days goes by, and the doctor calls, and he goes, I need you to pull the stent out today. I'm like, oh, God. Is this going to hurt? And he goes, no, no. He goes, just take a couple Percocet, you'll be fine. I'm like, wait a minute. If it doesn't hurt, why am I taking two Percocet? He said, well, I don't know what your pain threshold is. And I said, then we're going to have four. <laughs> so I eat my four Percocet. And I looked at Gail and I said, babe, you're going to have to help me with this. And she goes, what? No. I go, what do you mean, no? What happened to our vows? You know, for better or worse, sickness in the health. She goes, what if I hurt you or damage it? I go, what else could be done to me at this point? <laughs> and she goes, well, I'm going to have to shotgun a couple beers. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Great. I'm on Percocet. You're drunk, and we're performing a medical procedure. This ought to be awesome. So she literally shotguns two beers in front of me and then goes, all right, let's do this. And I go, not with that look on your face, ma'am. You slap a smile on that face, sister. So we go upstairs and I lay down on the bed and she takes hold of the string and she goes, oh wait, I got an idea. And I said, what? And she goes, why don't we tie the string to the doorknob? I go, this isn't a loose tooth. She starts pulling the string. I go, stop, stop. This is just too weird. And she goes, thank God, I need another beer. And like ran out of the room. <laughs> Stent is a very small word. So I assumed this was a very small apparatus. 14 inches long. Yeah, I pulled this thing to the end of my length. I had to go back and get the rest of it. And finally it came out and I go, it's out. And I hear from the bathroom, thank God. <laughs> she said, do you want me to bring the trash can? I said, no. No, I'm going to hang this from my rear view mirror. <laughs> and she said, why? And I go, so the next time I'm having a bad day, I can look at that mirror and go, you know what? It could be worse. 